very much. When uh, CFSI first contacted me to uh, talk about the TO journey, um, they referred to it as the unlikely story of the reverse ATM. And uh, that's probably because of our early work and sustained work with cash accepting self-service automated kiosks. But as I reflected on our journey, uh, I noticed a relentless focus, an entrepreneurial focus on impact. And that led me to consider a different big idea, which was the, our road as impact trainers. When, um, when we founded the company back in 1997, it was not called TO Networks, it was called InfoTouch Technologies, and it didn't offer bill payment services. Our first kiosk devices were designed to provide internet access. And they were designed to cure a different type of, of, of uh, digital inclusion. It was the digital divide, not financial health. But it was impact oriented. And, uh, and this was very much a focus on the LMI. Initially, this was very successful and impactful, but as the internet became more commoditized, our ability to impact the customer faded. And as a result, we decided to pivot. With Circle K, we developed a kiosk program where we tried everything. This kiosk had the ability to sync your Palm Pilot, allow you to check your email, yes, those things. As you can see, there's a handset on it which allowed for te video teleconferencing. Yes, back in 2001, but it was bill payment services in, when we, that we added in 2002 that really resonated with the customer. And right there in Circle K in Phoenix, Arizona, we had created our product market fit. Why? Through this kiosk, we allowed people to get immediate credit for their bill payments. So no wait time. This was because of our back office integration into the billers uh, billing system. We were quite encouraged. We added hundreds of kiosks in multiple markets and to this day, the learnings that we had from this kiosk program in Circle K have, have powered a lot of our, of our thinking in, in many other channels and into the, the many billions of dollars worth of bill payments that we process today. One of the interesting things that we did with the kiosk was we put a button on the kiosk interface that anyone could use. And this was called the feedback button. If you needed uh, help with the kiosk or if there was a uh, you know, a biller that you wanted, or, or if you just wanted to tell us off, um, you could. And that feedback button work, worked very well. And because we didn't have any kiosks in the city that, 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 that our employees operated in, in Vancouver, British Columbia, we had those, those messages from every single kiosk go unfiltered to every single employee at the company. Yes, a little dicey. Um, but once in a while, we would get a message that would really knock our socks off. Customers would tell us once in a while that, there were, that, that the kiosk really made a difference to them, that it, you know, our, our kiosk was not judgmental. Our, our realization was that this, this kiosk, for a very small use case in, in, in paying your bills, something as perfunctory as that, was giving people back a little bit of dignity. And so we coalesced around this concept of dignity. We coalesced around this concept that one of the, the, the you know, prevailing themes of our product was that it, that, that, that it made people feel a different way, and it, and it was impactful in that, in that it changed the way that, that technology worked for them. So because of that, we changed the name of the company to TO. And to us, it was indicative of our brand promise to provide a high-quality service and to ensure that we supported these customers, provided a higher standard of care. We provided 24-7 customer service. We, we created an experience on our kiosk program for, for Spanish users. We did everything we could to elevate this customer and to let them know that we were, we, we were watching their back. So from 02 to 06, all we did was self-service automated kiosk bill pay. That was what we were singularly focused on. In 06, we decided to take the key tenants of success behind uh, the bill pay program, the immediate posting, the high quality of customer support, and apply that to a less capital intensive deployment model. So we developed the over-the-counter program, or what we called TO Express at the time. This allowed to, us to scale the business and drive a lot more transactions. Partnership was a really big part of, of our success, and, and, and 
we were very fortunate to have great partners. CFSI is one of those great partners, and I really want to thank Jennifer and the entire team at CFSI. We partnered with our billers. Uh, companies like Softgate Systems and Global Express extended us into their retail uh, payment networks. We later acquired those companies and included them as part of our, uh, of, of our network. So this was not a quick journey. This was a long, windy road. Our overnight success took about two decades. We achieved um, pretty substantial total processing uh, numbers, and this is our 2016 numbers. Millions of accounts, millions of consumers. But I think it's, a, it's, it's easy to lose sight of the fact that behind each one of those numbers is a human face. And to this day, when we have a management meeting, we always start with our customer impact KPIs. So a lot of people ask us since our announcement with PayPal, you know, how and why did the PayPal deal come, come along? First of all, let me just say that we are incredibly excited to join PayPal. We don't know of another Fortune 500 or Fortune 250 company that has the same breadth and strength that cares as deeply as they do, not as a hobby, but as a core focus on, on financial health and financial inclusion. This picture is from last year's Emerge. I was in the audience in Louisiana and for the first time listening to Dan speak. I was blown away. And it, it really occurred to me that this, that this was a special company with a special mandate. Here's a company that is spending real resources to go after this marketplace and to really build products and solutions that serve these customers. So stay tuned. There's a lot of good stuff coming. Coming. We live in an interesting time, a special time. Um, there's a lot of pain out there. And I'm sure you all agree that there's a lot of opportunity to impact those consumers in a positive way. And so there's never been a better time to be an impact entrepreneur. Thank you.